What's up, freaks? It's Steve Eckert here for Steve Says, episode number 79. Got you on a couple different screens here. If you have any questions, comments as we're going along, just put them down below and we'll talk about it. So this is episode 79. And the title of this, if you saw in, in the top, was Are You Broken? And it's kind of broken up there. I'm going to break that down for you in a little bit. And what we're going to do today is do what I like to call raw reflection. I'm going to call on you to, to do some serious self-reflection and have some serious self-awareness in your life right now. And it, it, this, we're going to talk about some things that you, you might not want to hear, but it's some shit that you need to hear that probably no one else in your life is telling you. You're either too afraid to or just don't really give a shit. But I do give a shit, so I'm going to tell you some of these things that you need to hear, that you just need to, that no one else is telling you, even probably your own family members is unwilling to tell you these type of things. So Steve says, what is it all about in general? You know what, what I say, some people hate, but most can relate. And I'm, I guarantee you'll be able to relate to the things I'm saying. Although it might sting a little bit, you might not want to hear it, but you're going to be able to fucking relate to it. That's the way it goes. This week, we're going to talk about, basically, are, are you struggling? A couple of questions I want you to ask yourself with that raw reflection is, are you struggling with money, time, structure, just life in general, this whole lockdown, quarantine, crazy, all the crazy shit going on in the world. Are you struggling just with life in general and your own personal happiness? Are you struggling with that stuff? Then I want you to really ask yourself, are you much further along in life in years than you are in success? Meaning for where you are in your age, are you where you think you should be for the amount of time you put in to what you've been doing. These are some deep things. We're going to break these all down as we go along. And I, and I told you, we're going to get freaking raw with this. So be prepared. I'm going to tell you some things you might not like and might piss some people off, but that's never stopped us before. And again, this is what you need to hear, especially probably at this point in your life, if you're watching this. And if you, if you read, if you saw the title of this and you're watching this, it probably means this is for you. The more that you think that this isn't for you, probably the more it is for you. Think about that. Then I want to ask you, the last thing, question I want to ask you is from, what's the movie? A Few Good Men, Jack Nicholson. Can you handle the truth? Or actually said, you can't handle the truth. So I want to ask you, can you handle the truth? And we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the truth. What the truth is. Because you know, we don't pull any punches on this. We don't, ha- we don't beat around the bush on Steve Said. This is, this is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt and overcome so you can destroy the obstacles that are, that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your fitness, your finances, so you can just stop being a, a little bitch and just get your shit together and start living life on your own fucking terms. That's what this is all about. And that's how straightforward and raw that we're going to have to bring it to you today on Steve Says. You know we're always talking about the mind, the body, and then also your business. There's no purpose in building that empire. Building that business, if you don't have your shit together first up here and then in here, in your body, it's, it's useless. So we're going we're gonna to talk on that deeper level. And, and I want you to, again, have that raw reflection on these things we're talking about. It's all about adapting and overcoming, getting your shit together, making shit happen, trusting the process, and of course, making no excuses. You can see it. It's freaking tattooed on my arm. Making no excuses. So I want to ask you, where are you Let's, let's start, let's start. And you see, it says broken, not just broken the word, broke as in broke in, broken as in not having the money you want, broken in not just financially broke, but mentally broke, emotionally broke. But also we are talking about specifically money and we're going to talk about money because that's some, some other things people are not willing to talk about, afraid to talk about money and finances. We're going to fucking go hard on that and deep on that. In just a second. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. And you're going to need to hear this. You need to hear this. If you're still here right now, you need to hear this. And if you're starting to think, oh, this is bullshit. I don't need to hear this. You probably need to replay this shit over and over again. And I'm talking kind of fast. You might need to replay it on slow motion so it could fucking sink into your brain. Because it goes in that order. The mind, the body, and then the business. So I want to ask you, are you broken? Broken. In that way, you saw it's a broke, then hyphen, n. Broken. So... I want to ask you, where, where are you in your life right now? Where do you want to be? 
Again, this is raw reflection. These are things I want you to think about right now and things you should, you should reflect on at the end of the day today, later on when you have some time. Schedule some time to go do some journaling and ask yourself, where are you in life right now? Where do you want to be in life? And then where are you headed? Right now of what you're doing, your current output, your current bandwidth, your current effort that you're fucking putting in, where are you headed? And then ask yourself, is this the direction I want to be headed in? Then ask yourself, if I keep going along the way I'm going right now, where will I be a year from now? Where will I be five years from now? Where will I be 10 years from now? Because let me tell you, I'm going to be talking about men in general, but this applies to men and women. I'm speaking about men because that's who I've been dealing with when it comes to the project. If you don't know what the project is, we could talk about that another time. Send me a message. We'll talk about it. It's basically a 75-hour, fully immersive, personal, personal development program for men here in Southern California so they can level up in their family, their fitness, their finances, and their faith so they can become a better father, better husband, better leader, better fucking man, better human. That's what it's all about. So as I'm having these discussions, I'm I'm spending hours and hours a day on the phone with prospects and candidates, men who need the project. So that's where where, where this came from. I want to talk to you about this. Like, if you're, and and I'm going to use the word man because we're not, we don't need to be politically correct here because that's just, it's just a waste of time. I'm not going to say he or she or man or woman. I'm just going to use the word man and assume that it means for a human. Okay. So let's just get that out of the way. So let me give you some examples of some of the stories I hear from men around the country, all around the country, and even all around the world, because we do have men coming in from all over the world into the project. Now, six different countries have come to participate in the project. So let me give you some examples of, of what the things that I'm hearing, the struggles that men are going through. And this is the last time I'm going to repeat it. I'm saying men, but it means men and women. It could, it could be the same. They're getting divorced. They're on their second or third marriage. They've gained 20, 30 pounds blaming a, a fucking coronavirus. The virus didn't make you eat the, those, those fucking cheeseburgers and the bacon. It didn't. It's no virus that you didn't gain weight from the virus. You weren't infected and you, you were bedridden. So the virus made you gain weight. Okay, so you didn't gain weight because of the virus. That's the first raw truth you need to hear. I hear it every day. Oh, I gained it because of COVID-19. I'm sick of hearing it. I gained the COVID-15, the 15 pounds. Bullshit. It's bullshit. It's lies you're telling to yourself. Because you had you use that as an excuse to become the, the worst version of yourself, having that time and that all that stress and anxiety. You let it use that as an excuse to become the worst version of yourself instead of an excuse to become the best version of yourself. So that's some of the things I'm hearing that they gain the weight. They're on their, they're get, they just got divorced. They're getting over a divorce. It devastated them. Their kids look at them or even call them a loser. They're, they're, they're not the role models that their kids want to be. Their kids want to be nothing like them. And I could tell you that from firsthand experience. When I was a kid, I would look at my father and say, I want to be nothing like that man. So I can't imagine my kids thinking that way. And this is what I'm hearing on a daily basis from men about their children. All the way from a five-year-old son to an 18-year-old daughter. It's not the kind of man they want to they, they want to be when they're older or for the daughter. It's not the kind of man they want to marry. And that should be the goal for any man in life. To be the man your son wants to be or to be the type of man that your daughter wants to marry. That's what it's all about. If you're on that path, that's all you have to worry about. But that's not the path that the majority of men are on these days. They've gone fucking soft. They've gone weak. They've been neutered. And their kids don't look up to them. Sometimes they don't even talk to their kids for weeks or months at a time. Because they're, they're split up and separated. All the, all the craziness you could think of. All this stuff. So I want to ask you. If you're not where you want to be right now. And those earlier questions about what direction are you headed in. In your current state right now. Where, what will your life look like if you don't do something about this right now? What will it look like a year? Five years? Ten years from now? What will it look like if you don't do anything about this right now? And then ask yourself. What will your life look like if you do, if you flip the fucking script on this and start rewriting from this point on forward, what will your life look like then? One year, five years, 10 years from now. What will it look like then? Because let me tell you, the, 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 the men that I'm, we deal with, right? They're college graduates. They got college degrees. They read all the personal development books, all the leadership books, the communication books. The self-help books. 
They go to the seminars. Let me tell you, leadership is bullshit. Personal development is bullshit. All the gurus are bullshit. All of them. They're all bullshit. It's all useless. If you just take all that information and read the book and then go back to living your same life of bullshit and excuses and mediocrity and blaming a fucking COVID for gaining a gut. COVID didn't make you drink all that alcohol. It didn't. You could try to say it did. You were going through so much. You lost your job. This and that. Divorce. No COVID didn't fucking do it to it. You did it. You did it. That's the raw truth you need to realize. That is the raw reflection that you need to have about this. You did this. You made these decisions for the path that your life is on right now. And, 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 and then I'm talking to 40 something year old men. I want you to, I want you to let this sink in and just stay with me here. I'm talking to 40 something year old men that they're miserable. They're unhappy. They feel lost, confused. They're white knuckling through life. They're just walking around like a zombie every day. They have no purpose, no meaning. Maybe thought of suicide even. That's how fucking serious it is. This is a serious fucking subject. They're still paying off their college debt in the forward, in their 40s. They're still paying off their college debt of the job that just laid them off because of the COVID that they're still paying off decades later and they're broke and they're broke and they're broke in because of all these different things. You know, you know that, and this is an interesting t- statistic. You know that only 27% of college graduates have a job in their field that they got their degree for? 20 fucking 7%. And they're still paying for that. They're still paying for it. 27% of college graduates have a job in their field. And those are the ones that need to be. That's probably the doctors, the lawyers, and stuff like that. Because of all the rest is just bullshit. If you're not in some, some serious profession like that where obviously you need serious amounts of schooling, it's fucking bullshit. It's all bullshit. I asked Tyson if he's going to college. He's nine years old. He said this to me. He's like seven or eight. You going to college? He said, college? That's like school where you have to sleep. Why would I want to sleep at school? And listen, this isn't a bash on college, whatever. My college was jail. My college was the street. My college was the Marine Corps. My college was life. My college was failure. My college was losing shitloads of money in business. That's what my college was. That's what my degree was. But 27%, that's freaking crazy. That's crazy. That's, and, 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 and only 62%, listen to this one. Only 62% of college graduates have a job that requires a college degree. So they went to school for all those years and then got a job that doesn't even require a degree at all. No degree. Forget about being in their field. Doesn't even require a college degree at all. 62% of college graduates. Think about that. Let those numbers sink in. 27% and 62%. And these are the men that are broken that I'm talking to in their 40s. They're the same age as me. Like life is over. 42 years old. Listen, I'm 42. About to turn 43. I'm old as fuck. Gray as fuck. I don't care. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'll outrun the 19-year-old Marine version of myself. I'll beat the piss out of the 19-year-old Marine Corps version of myself. Have more wisdom than the 19-year-old Marine Corps version of myself. Because I make the, you make the decisions. You have to make the decisions to make that happen. You can't just talk about it. You can't just go and, and go to all the seminars and, and go to see Tony Robbins and you're jumping up and down and you're screaming your fucking hands. Yeah, it's so much on fire for all day, for four days. And you go home. Back to being a fucking zombie. Just no, zombieing through life. Bullshitting. Now broken. Broke. Broke. They're all saying I'm broke. I'm broke. I can't afford that. The project, let me tell you, is $12,000. $12,000 during the project. We're sold out in November class. The biggest class ever. During the craziness of this whole whatever. Pandemic, riots, and all this other bullshit. Sold out the largest class ever. And if you need, if, if there's a, you could put a deposit down. You could put a $3,000 deposit down for a future class and make installments for it. So I'm talking to men, right? Listen to this. Listen to this. This is like one of the key points that I want to make right now. One of the key points I want to make right now. These men are 42 years old saying they've been in their career, either whether at a job that they went to, didn't go to college for, that they're still paying their fucking college debt in a job that, that, that wasn't even in their degree. They've been in there for 20 years. Busting their ass, working a job, or they have their own business, right? They're self-employed. They're an entrepreneur. They go to all the gurus and they list, read all the books and the sales and all the other bullshit. They don't apply none of it. So they're 42 years old and then telling me, oh, I can't afford a $3,000 deposit. 
I can't afford a three thousand dollar pot. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to work on that for a few months and get back to you. Like, listen, motherfucker, you're 42 years old. You've been doing it for 20 years. If you don't have three thousand dollars for something you know that's going to be the solution to your problems, you're gonna wait not a few months to figure that. You're gonna wait the rest of your fucking life because you're gonna keep going down the same path. You're not gonna change the trajectory of your life, and you're gonna 10 years from now. I could call you up and you'll say, oh, I'm just going to need a few months to come up with that $3,000. You're obviously doing something fucking wrong. And you obviously are, are broke from spending money on bullshit. Like you have, the, re- the fact that you can't afford something that you know you desperately need because you're fucking broken. The fact that you can't afford it is the exact reason why you need to pay for it. Now, if that, do- if that doesn't make sense, you need to just say, listen to that over and over again. The fact you can't afford... The solution to your problems is the exact reason why you need to go do it. It's the exact reason why you have those problems in the first place. Because you'll invest money in your car. Someone told me, I got $12,000. I could, I could buy a car with that. But like, brother, you got it all wrong. You fucking got it backwards in your head. A car? You're thinking about a car? What the fuck is a car going to do for you when you say your kids tell you you're a loser and you look like you're pregnant because you have a fucking gut? Okay? And if that offends you, too fucking bad. Because this is the shit you need to hear. And you're, and you're talking about you could spend that money on a car. But that's what your son is telling you. That's what, and then your wife is leaving. And fucking the neighbor. But you're talking about you could spend that money on a car. Oh, I could go on vacation. If I had that money, I would go on a vacation. Yeah, that vacation is going to solve your problems, buddy. It ain't going to fucking help. You need to realize that shit. The whole fact, the whole reason why you can't afford something that is the solution to your problems is the exact reason why you need to do it. Especially since it's probably only going to become more and more expensive as it goes on. So by the time you think that you're, okay, now I can afford it. Guess what? Probably now the price went up. Like the time is now to do stuff. You're, you'll spend, like, listen, when I was a kid, I, went, I would go weeks without having a fucking dinner sometimes. There was no food in the house. I was the youngest of six kids. A drunk alcoholic father, but he didn't have money for food, but somehow he had money for cigarettes and beer every fucking day. So, and and on our grass, we had a grass. We had the nicest lawn in the fucking town. Starving kids in the house, but fucking lawn that looked like it was belonged on like some world-class golf course. And kids would run by, and if they cut across the lawn, they'd get a golf club thrown at them. Literally, not a joke. Literally, golf clubs would be flying down the street at the kids that run all across that lawn. But, and, and this just goes to the things going on now. I'll see people renovating their house, spending months renovating their fucking house, making it look all nice and pretty. You do your gardening. You put your little fucking plants here. Then you water your lawn for fucking two hours a day and do some nice painting. And then you, watch, you get all the workers working on the house and you sit there for hours just watching the workers work on your house to renovate it because now you're going to have a nice, beautiful fucking house. Spending all that time and all that money, but then say, oh, I can't afford that. I can't afford to actually take the time to invest in myself to become a better husband, a better father, a better leader, a better fucking man, a better person. But you have time and energy and money to sit and renovate your house or go buy your car or get your little fucking Starbucks crappuccino every day or whatever the hell that shit is called. Eight bucks of sugar and, and diabetes in a cup. You have money for that and time for that to go there just to get your freaking coffee. But... No time to take care of yourself. You'll invest in everything else except for yourself. There's no point in building that empire if your foundation fucking sucks. No point. You cannot grow and scale if you're not first taking care of the foundation, which is you. Which is you. You're paying for college and your car and your house and vacations, but not paying to fucking invest in yourself. That's why fucking men, and again women, are broke in. They're broke and they're broken. Now here's the real deep question. Like what came first, the chicken or the fucking egg? Are these people broke because they're broken? Or are they broken because they're broke? And I will tell you, without a fucking doubt, they are broke because they're broken. So once you unfuck yourself and get your shit together up here and in your body, and unbreak yourself. I don't want to say fix yourself because I hate that. I hate that term, fix yourself, whatever. But once you take care of yourself as a priority, invest in yourself, maybe then you wouldn't be broke. Maybe then you wouldn't have to tell a grown man, like, think about it. 
Think about how this sounds. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the sales and, and, and marketing industry. I've had my own company for 20 years. Oh, that's awesome. And this is a conversation that I just had the other day. I've been, in, I've been in the business for 20 years. Wow, 20 years. That is impressive. Yeah, so the, you could put a $3,000 deposit down. Three, whoa, $3,000. That is just too much. I don't have that kind of money. If you're in business 20 something years, any business, if you're 40 something years old and you don't have that kind of money, you're fucking doing something wrong and you need to make some serious bold change. You need to beg, borrow, and steal to take care of yourself, to invest in yourself and stop investing in your fucking lawn and your damn car and even your house. And really when it comes down to it, even your kids, because it's, it's useless. You'll, you'll think that you're, Gonna, your kids are gonna become like what you weren't. They're not gonna become what you weren't unless you become what you need to fucking be. Cause they're not gonna listen to what you say. They're gonna listen to what the fuck you do. And even if your kids aren't around, you, you, you can might be daddy superhero when the kids are around. And when they're not around, you go back to that, that loser. Let me tell you, the universe will send that message to your kids. They will know. And it will affect them. It will affect how, how much they look at you as a role model. Think about it. You have all that time and money you've got to eat into the Starbucks and the cigarettes and the alcohol and the purses and the belts and the fucking rims on your car. But whoa, $3,000 to invest in myself. Whoa, that's too expensive. Too expensive. Check. But you can watch, you can watch a, a Netflix series, three seasons in a fucking weekend, but you don't have time to invest in yourself. You don't have time to learn those skills that you need so you're not fucking broke anymore and you're not 40-something years old in business for 20-something years and don't have $3,000. Now, if you don't have three, if you're listening to this and you don't have $3,000 and you're getting offended by this, you know what? Maybe a little, you should maybe a little bit. I don't know if you say you get offended. Probably need to have a little more mental toughness that you need to be reflective, have that raw reflection like, fuck. He's talking about me. He's talking about me. I need to do something different. I need to take some fucking risks. I need to make some bold moves. I need to make shit happen. I need to step up. I need to do a hundred times more than what I'm doing. I need to stop bitching and complaining. I need to stop being passive aggressive. I need to stop, stop holding in all the bullshit that's inside of me till it blows up and explodes and my whole fucking life falls apart. And I'm even broken-er. Yeah, broken-er. We make our own fucking words here. Think about that. And, and it's expensive, right? To, 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 Invest in yourself is expensive. So is a funeral. So is a divorce. So is, listen to this. There's, there's men who, and I didn't know this was even possible. They, they're, they're divorced, right? So if they want to go spend, anytime they want to go spend money, they have to run it through their attorney to run through to another attorney to get permission to go Develop themselves, to invest in themselves, they have to ask for fucking permission from a lawyer, from their ex-wife, if they're allowed to go and do this. Think about that. So how about if you're not in that position yet, you get unfuck your shit, unfuck yourself, so you, you, you don't end up in that position, first of all. Stop worrying about, oh, I can't afford it, I can't afford it. If you can't afford it, that's exactly why you need to do it. If you're a damn grown up, and there's... Something you say you can't afford that you know you need as a solution to your problems, you need to go and do it. That's exactly why you need to do it. Stop making excuses. Stop finding every single excuse to put in yourself in your way as a barrier to say, oh, no, the timing doesn't work for me. Oh, no, it's just I gotta, I need a few months to, 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 to get my ducks in a row. Fucking ducks in a row. You ain't got no damn ducks. Quit with the bullshit. Quit with the excuses. Because you're going to need a few months to figure it out. Get your ducks in a row. But guess what? 10 years from now, you're still going to be lining up looking for those fucking ducks. And the ducks don't exist. They don't fucking exist. And today, so I was talking about the project with a a gentleman. And it it was too expensive. Can't do it. Oh, deposit. Oh, my God. I can't have it. I can't do a deposit. And and I told him exactly what I'm talking about here today. This is why why I wanted to do this this video today. Because I think men fucking need to hear this. Humans need to hear it. The broke-in people need to hear it. I said, listen... My man, you say you've been in business 20 years, but you don't have $3,000 to your name. I said, well, you know what? We do have some other different, other level of coaching that we could do for you for $500. He said, I, I can't, I can't part ways with $500 right now. $500. I can't part ways with $500 right now. And besides, 
You just insulted me by asking that. What the fuck? What the fuck? The fact that by me offering you something else that maybe you could possibly afford since you couldn't afford, you say you couldn't afford one thing, to say that's insulting you, that's just so, it was like the part, it was like the exact picture of the softness of men these days. The fucking weakness, the bitchness, like the passive aggressiveness. That you get offended by that. The fact that you can get offended by some of that is the exact reason why you need to worry about yourself and nothing else in the world. Don't even fucking eat if you have to, to, to better yourself. That's how serious it is. That's how deep you need to think about this shit. Like, think about it. It's crazy. And then th- you'll, you'll start saying, oh, well, I have this idea. I'm going to start this business, that business, this business, that business, and sit on your ass and talk about all these brilliant fucking ideas and you'll do nothing any of them. You'll sit on your ass, talk about what you're going to do, where you were and how times used to be and how things are all falling apart, but you're going to do this and this and this and this and this. So stop talking about it. You're broke because you're broken. It's all about you need to, to, to focus on yourself for once in your fucking life. Put yourself as your highest priority. Like they tell you on the airplane, put your oxygen mask on even before your own freaking kids. Because if you don't have your own shit in order... You're not going to be the role model. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to end up grow, grow, having some um, messed up kids growing up because they're following your lead with all your bullshit and these excuses and all this other stuff. It's all about your habits, your decisions that you're making. That's all this is, is your decisions. You can't afford something because it's your decisions you're making. You're making, you're deciding to go do some other bullshit instead of things you know you need to take care of your own shit. Again, there's no point in building that empire and focusing on Thinking you're gonna you're gonna grow all this stuff if the foundation is fucked up, if you are fucked up, if you are broken. It's all about your reactions. Worrying about just talking about you're getting offended. Offended. This is a grown man telling me this. I'm offended. I'm I'm almost speechless just, just thinking about it. I almost don't even know what to say about that. Offended. I couldn't imagine that. The fact that if, if I were, you're, you're in business for so long and I know times are hard and things are rough, it doesn't matter. You can find a way to always do it. When you know you need something, without a shadow of a doubt, you know you need something and you know you have the solution. I don't give a fuck what it costs. You do whatever it takes to make it happen because your life depends on it. Your kid's life depends on it. Your future grandchildren who might not even be born, their lives depend on it. And the whole fact is you need to do something about it. That's it. Stop talking about what you're going to do. Stop just soaking in all this knowledge and learning all this personal development, reading all these fucking books, because they're all useless if you just keep making excuses and keep talking about, oh, I can't afford that. I can't afford this. You can't afford it is the exact fucking reason why you need to do it. You are your most important client. You are, should be your biggest investment should be in yourself. You should be spending more money on yourself, on your growth and development of yourself than anything else in the world. And you might say, oh, I can't do that. I can't be selfish. It's selfish for you not to do it. It's selfish of you not to do it. Because now you're doing a disservice to everyone around you. When your kids don't look up to you and don't want to become like you, creating another generation of yous. When you need to make another generation of fucking warriors, another generation of, of positive, motivated men putting out maximum effort. Not making excuses for everything in life. Take some responsibility for where you're at and do something about it. If you're where you've been for 20 years, do something about it. That's what you need to do. Don't forget, you are broke because you were broken. It's not the other way around. I want that to sink in your head. And the fact that you can't do something that you know you need to do is the exact reason why you need to do it. I don't care what it... Oh, I can't go in debt for it. You're already in fucking debt. You're not going anywhere. You're not getting out of it on the path you're on. You're stay, you stay on the same path. And don't make a drastic change and get some coaching and guidance and mentoring. You're going to be in the exact spot and you're never going to dig out of that fucking hole. No one could do this shit alone. And it starts with your decisions. It starts with your decisions and your to stop making excuses. Look at that. No excuse. I keep it on my fucking arm so I can see it all day to remember it. Stop making the excuses. There's no fucking COVID that did this to you. 
This was going on for decades. If you've been, if, if you're 40 something years old and you are not where you want to be, you've been doing something wrong. Okay. Shift gears, change trajectory, get a coach, a guide, a mentor, whatever it is. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Let's talk about it. I would love to hear what you have to say about all this. I know we went flew through a lot about college and about money and all this other stuff. But again, this is the shit that you need to hear. This is the raw reflections you need to have, the questions you need to ask yourself. This is it. You should go home you should, later tonight. You should be at home and you should be thinking about this stuff. You should have pages of, of just thoughts and reflections on the things we're talking about. Re- replay this. Rewind if you can handle the annoying voice to hear it again, to think of some of those questions and reflect on it and then ask yourself, what the fuck am I going to do about it? What are you going to do about it if you're not where you want to be? And then flip the fucking switch. Tell yourself, I am fucking awesome. Stop making excuses and make shit happen. I will talk to you later. Put some comments down below. Let's talk about, let's have a discussion about it. And don't tell me I offended you because if I offended you, you need to hear this more and more and over and over again. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.